Hi everyone, and welcome back to the Butterfly Book Club. Make sure you've subscribed. Today, we are reading A Home for Bird, written and illustrated by Philip C. Steed. Vernon was out foraging for interesting things when he found Bird. Are you okay? asked Vernon. Bird said nothing. Are you lost? Bird said nothing. You are welcome to join me, said Vernon. Vernon introduced Bird to his friends. Bird, said Vernon, meet Skunk and Porcupine. Bird said nothing. Bird is shy, said Vernon, but also a very good listener. Vernon showed Bird the river and the forest. He took Bird foraging and cloud watching too, but Bird said nothing. I am worried that Bird is not happy, said Vernon. Perhaps he is lost, said Skunk. Maybe he misses home, said Porcupine. So Vernon prepared for a journey to help Bird find his home. He readied a boat, found an oar, and said goodbye to old friends. And together with Bird, followed the river into the great unknown. Vernon showed Bird many different places to live. Is this your home? he asked Bird. How about this? Here? Vernon sighed. Bird will speak up when we find the right home. But no matter how many places they tried, Bird said nothing, and Vernon was sad. But Vernon was a determined friend. And with a little help, he and Bird followed the wind. I hope this is a good idea, said Vernon. Bird said nothing. Bird is very brave, thought Vernon. Having traveled a long way, the two friends came to rest. Hello, said Vernon to a kind stranger. I think we are lost. The stranger pointed the way to a house a little farther down the road. I am so tired, said Vernon. Bird said nothing. Bird is tired too, thought Vernon. Maybe we'll stop for the night. Together, Vernon and Bird slid down the curtain, introduced themselves to new friends, and climbed up, up, up to the little house on the wall. This home is in need of repair, thought Vernon, carefully placing the door back on its hinges. I hope Bird doesn't mind. He put Bird to bed upstairs and put himself to bed downstairs and fell asleep to a gentle sound. Tick tock, tick tock. Vernon awoke with the morning light. He liked this little house and the cheerful sounds it made. I wonder if Bird likes it too, thought Vernon. And Bird said, Cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. And Vernon was happy. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you like and subscribe. Check out our other videos at the Butterfly Book Club on youtube.com. And also click the link in our bio to check out our website that has free learning materials that go along with all of our book read-alouds. Again, please make sure you subscribe.